now we've been comparing the 336D versus our uh, current 336E series. Uh, and with this new uh, 336E hybrid machine, we've been doing some trenching applications and uh, truck loading, 180 degree, 90 degree. The machine was fast. Uh, I was the second one to run it, so I actually got to see the operator before me run the machine, and uh, the noise level of the machine was very low, so I thought right away that it was going to be be quite slower or uh, not as performing as well as the other machines that I was used to, but I was, I was quite wrong on that aspect. One thing I noticed about it is I'm a big fan of the 336E, and with this being uh, as different as it is, it's, it's very impressive, uh, the machine. It's got plenty of power, um, lots of stick power, loads, loads the bucket great, uh, it's quick, and most impressive is the fuel efficiency of it. It's a lot quicker in certain movements. Uh, Multi-functions are lots better. The new hydraulics are, are good. The truck loading, it, uh, it did really well. Uh, performance of the machine was, was really good at such a lower RPM. Uh, uh, that was real shocking to me that it was, it was gonna perform that well, but it does. You know, one thing that's a misconception from a lot of operators is noise. And this machine runs at a lower RPM than the 336E standard. And so a misconception right away is that this thing's quiet, I don't have enough power, but in all reality there's plenty of power. There's just as much power as in what's in the 336E. Everybody knows fuel prices are going up um, and everything is based off of, you know, when you tell a customer, hey, this thing gets 10%, 5%, 15% better fuel economy than their older uh, piece of equipment, um, they're kind of skeptical about it until they get the machine and they actually take the numbers down themselves and right off that's the first thing they mention right out of the top is that fuel savings is amazing on these newer pieces of equipment that we have out today. Every Belgian company that does real production can have great advantages buying this machine just because of the fuel consumption that is 30 percent less. Uh, production is like the same as the E-Series so only advantages for the company. Fuel's going to just keep going up and and that's as long as we can uh, stay within the production parameters that we're used to right now, uh, we have more power to do the job with, the cycles are faster, you get better fuel economy, and you add that, that equation to that part of the selling machine, it makes it that much easier to sell this equipment out there today. The ex life expectancy of a, of a Caterpillar machine is usually better than, than our competition anyway, so then you add all the fuel savings to this, it's certainly going to make people uh, think twice about purchasing a different machine. I think it's going to be a, a game changer and a winner for Caterpillar.